Okay, we're going to make a cake in the microwave. With May being Tupperware's birthday month, that all our parties will be making cakes in the microwave. So what we have here is a fun Betty cake. And we're going to use our Power Chef. This works just, it goes around just like a, and like a lawnmower and just cuts up everything. You, how many of you have ever thought, boy, I hate chopping onions. This is wonderful to chop onions in. Works wonderful when you're chopping up your onions, making your homemade salsa, so many great things like that. But today we're gonna to use it to mix up our cake mix. Now what I have in here, I, our quick shake, I love the quick shake, carry it for your power drinks or your protein drinks, all the different things like that. And, but I go ahead and I put my oil, my water, and my eggs in here and just shake it up so then we can take our power shelf and we can okay, pour just a little bit of the liquid in the bottom. You want to be sure you put liquid in first because if, uh, if you put the dry ingredient on the bottom, then it will stay, you know, it will not mix up good. So we're going to put our liquid in. All right, then we're going to put our little top back on and just pull it so that we mix it up right like that. And uh, if you're using this to chop, it really works so great. You have to, like if you're chopping fruit, be careful or you will have, if you're chopping peaches, you'll have peach juice before you know it. So be careful with the, and don't because it chops so fast and easy. So I'm going to put a little more of the eggs and oil and water in. Put a little more cake mix, or the rest of the cake mix. our oil and eggs and water in. this in is our stack cooker. The stack cooker is great to stack and cook an entire meal in the microwave at one time. I use this for so many things. Just today I used this to brown my hamburger meat. I was making spaghetti and so what I did is put my hamburger meat in the colander Put the in here and brown and put it on like three, four minutes, stirred it a couple of more minutes till all the red, all the, you know, till it was all done. And uh, then when you see what will, is in here coming out of your uh, hamburger meat, you'll never want to brown your hamburger meat any other way. Then what I do is take then my Power Chef and I cut up, I chop up the hamburger meat so I have little tiny pieces of hamburger meat instead of big pieces and chop it up like that and make my spaghetti. And then we have a wonderful pasta maker. I throw the spaghetti noodles in the pasta maker, nine minutes, the noodles is done. So really today was a very busy day for me but I'd say in less than 30 minutes, I had spaghetti cooked from the beginning, so it, because it's so convenient. But today, what we're tonight, what we're going to do 
is use it to make a cake. So this one, and actually when you get yours, you'll have the right color cone. I failed to bring the right color cone because I have the stack cooker in about every color that you can name. Put this in here to make it into a bunt pan. So we're going to take the icing, and this is just the tub of ready-made icing. Oh, this is gonna be a pretty cake. Look at that pretty icing. We're going to take about put about half of it just all in the bottom of the uh, pan and up the sides. Just to be sure we got it good and mixed up, I'll take one of our spatulas. Our spatulas, I use the spatulas for everything. They take up to 425 degrees, so if I'm scrambling eggs, I use my spatula. Uh, I even use it to slice brownies. It's just wonderful, so many great things to use the spatula for, so. Break this off. I'm going to set it right over here. Okay, then we're going to put our cake mix in. Then we're going to put this in the microwave for about eight to ten minutes. Every microwave cooks different, so you'll learn your microwave, but most microwaves about eight to ten minutes. What we're gonna be looking for is it pulling away from the sides and most of the moisture gone off the top. You don't wanna cook it till it's completely done because then it will be overdone. Because when you microwave, there is something called standing time. And that means the minute that microwave stops, these, uh, it does not, con stop cooking because the standing time it continues to cook so if you cook something till it's completely done then after it's standing time it will be overdone so you want to be sure you you know don't cook it completely done uh, as far as your meats and most things like that a good rule is six minutes a pound so if you have a chicken breast and it's a pound, then about six minutes is what you'll need to cook it. But a lot of people will take a like half a pound chicken breast and cook it 10 minutes and they wind up with a rubber ball. So that is something to keep in mind. So we're gonna stop now and gonna put this in the microwave and come back with you and show it to you in a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. 